Miller trying to escape Spence. Cholock holding it in, getting it back to Miller. Bruins start a cycle early. Miller's got a man open on top, but he curls to the slot, shoots, and scores! Jay Miller, 30 seconds into the game. And the Bruins off to another quick start and a 1-0 lead. As I mentioned a moment ago, the Bruins tied for the league lead in first period goals, and they almost had another one right there as Cholock couldn't get his stick in position. Ian Beck playing his third consecutive game. Scores! That's two goals for Jay Miller in the first three minutes of the game as he was sitting on top of the crease. He tipped Beck's shot in between the legs of Gwillem, and it's two zip Bruins. Falkner plays behind the net. Paganelli steps in there to steal it. Trying to center, Paganelli got sticked in the face, and now we're gonna have a fight. It's not gonna last very long, or is it? It's not, as Faulkner fell down right on top of Gabor. On Canavati, back at the right point, held it only for a moment. No, he did keep it in. What a job by Beck. Cothan Beetle below the goal line. In front, here's Cholock, he scores! A great keep at the line by Beck. And then Kothenbutel set up Cholock. It's 3-0 Bruins with 4.18 to play in the first period. Gabor banks it back to Slightum. Slightum across to Karlstrom, right side. Karlstrom backs up, shoots, deflected, they score! That's gonna be the hat trick for Jay Miller. He deflects it in. His second hat trick of the season, and it's 4-0 Bruins with 94 seconds left in the period. And gets the puck back again down low. Here's Miller to the net, backhand saved by Q Mitchell. Rebound down low, Cholock's got it. In front, Gabor is stopped, rebound, they score! You're not gonna believe it. Jade Miller, his fourth of the game, his 19th of the season, it's 5-0 Bruins with 15.29 to go in the third. Jessica on the left side pulls up. Karlstrom falls, but disrupted the play enough. Out to center, Haskins rolls over, yell. They're going to penalize Haskins. Back just outside the blue line, revering for the blizzard. He'll crank it into the zone. Carlson tried to slow it down. Olmshank Haskins gets crushed over there on the far side. And now everybody comes over, and here we go. Haskins was in a very vulnerable position when he went down. Stefka has Schmidt all tied up. He wants to drop the gloves, and there's another fight going there. Two fights going on at once. Hutchins is throwing the gloves with Austin Rushoff. Haskins is being escorted off the ice in the corner. Stefka was in a fight as well. Peeler top of the zone. Peeler straight away. Peeler hands it off to Drobot. Drobot holds on. First penalty ends. Pass to O'Connor. He'll let it rip. It gets blocked in front. Peeler knocks it down, and he scores! <laughs> Michael Peeler, a power play goal. It is 6-0 Bruins with 2.38 left. The Bruins are the makeshift power play unit here with so many guys unavailable. Miller back in again, near side, whips it across to Paganelli. Paganelli to the front of the goal for Cholock, he scores! Second goal of the game for Cholock as he went top shelf. It's a four point night for Cholock. And the Bruins with a lucky seven on the board. A 7-0 lead with 1.01 to go. Kennedy will take it to the corner, ease it back around to Galley, and it's a 7-0 Austin Bruins win over the Brookings Blizzard tonight. Their third consecutive win, all on home ice. The captain, Jade Miller, with a four-goal night to lead the way.